Okay, I'm broadcasting from Wuhan, China, and I'm walking underneath a busy city street here, and let's see, a couple things. This week, you won't be seeing an update on the Google site because it's blocked. Well, at least it's blocked for me because I'm in China. Any particular site where they, people can publish information quickly, like Twitter, Facebook, and communicate, um, is blocked. And uh, Google Sites is one of them, because again, people can publish information very easily. So, um, it's very interesting. So we talk about bridging gaps, I mean, there's a big country gap here, where it talks about people in China live behind what's called the Great Firewall of China. And uh, they get a filtered version of the internet. You, you may have already heard of that, but uh, so you know we're not going to talk about on a global level, but that might be something that piques your interest. Um, again, when you talk about diversity and access on a national level, it's a huge issue here. Um, I'm teaching a class, high school kids. And they talk about information that they have access to. And for, you know, there's a number of hacking programs that allow people to get through uh, firewalls and, and whatnot. And so a number of over a million to two million people in China are using tools like that right now. And it's fascinating. So this week, what I want you to focus on is really the culmination of all the work we've done and looking at our research, I know I'm gonna put myself in the sun. I just wanted to give you a glimpse of traffic in China. It's pretty incredible. So I'll go dark a little bit, but you'll be able to see in the background. Um, there are a lot of people live in Wuhan. In fact, I'll ask a trivia question for you. How many people live in Wuhan? You know, can you look that up and find out? And Wuhan is spelled W-U-H-A-N. It's one of the largest cities in the middle part of China, still in the eastern uh, side. I'm in a commercial district right now and uh, it's pretty interesting. So hopefully you're finding this amusing. If not, my, my apologies. So as I was saying, I had to myself distracted by all the people here. Um, we have looked at the heavy hitters, the people who are doing things to bridge gaps, to help kids learn better with technology, to help kids access technology in areas that are socioeconomically uh, may not have all the tools and resources that we're used to. Uh, in some some schools or school districts. We've uh, looked at cultural diversity. And let's see here. Look at the advertising behind me. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm crossing a street and I do not want to get hit by a car. You'll see the car right there. It's amazing how people travel around here and it's almost like this energy that moves around people to make sure they don't ram, ram it, you know, run into each other. Um, but it's definitely chaotic. It's not something that the typical Westerner is going to be used to. Uh, the traffic does seem to flow, it's just in its own special Chinese kind of way. Um, so, <laughs> that's going to be my third attempt on what I want you to focus on this week. Is look over the research we've done. All of us have gathered quite a few resources and published them to the Google site. We've done a lot of research, done a lot of material, we've gathered a lot of material, and there are over 130, 120 million electric bicycles or scooters in China. See this right back here? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, they're just starting to catch on in the US. There, go back. Um, so looking over all this information that we've gathered, what? Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? 
He's doing that with chalk. See that back there? What uh, is really uh, grabbing your attention? What particular in the, in the research that you're looking at? So look at all the information we've gathered. And to write this five-page paper about bridging gaps and what technologies are out there, take a look at what we have and start to piece together your argument. Again, what we want to do is have a stance. What technologies work? Who's using those technologies? What diversity issues are being, um, I don't want to say solved necessarily, but uh, being affected by the use of technology? And start putting this information together. And what I'd like to have you do is just, I want to get some information from you about what you're seeing as your main stance. So you are going to be writing a paper about it, but um, I'd like you to post something on, uh, forgive my lack of thought here, on uh, the City University Discussion Board. I'll have a section there about what pieces are really in your mind, what's really grabbed your attention, uh, anchor points that you're going to be writing to. And just go, when you get the email that is sending you a link to this video, I'll have more details in there. So again, I'm not going to be accessing the Google site while I'm in China because I can't. So the email via uh, CityU will be the only way you get information from me. But I will have a discussion board element on the discussion board. So please uh, re you know, refer to that and post two replies uh, to two other, you know, one reply to at least two other people that uh, have posted there. Well, I apologize for a haphazard video, but I thought being in China, I mean, it might be kind of interesting to explain a little bit about what's going on here. And now I'm going to head right over to uh, Starbucks. Yeah, they're here too. As you saw, there's McDonald's. It's just crazy how much is here. Um, have a great one, and I'll be in touch. Okay, bye-bye.